Hello everyone, Grand Mace Stitch here and welcome back to the Citadel and we're going to be carrying on our Jon Snow playthrough today. Really excited about getting more into this, I'm absolutely loving this playthrough. But unfortunately I've got some bad news guys, we have had to sue for a white piece with Tommen down in King's Landing as we were being, being invaded by the White Walkers and Tommen and we were never ever going to get out of that. Thank you so much to the Nick Man who commented down below in the last episode advising me to do this else it was pretty much going to be an all out loss for us and an end to the series. So I know that it is the sort of thing Jon Snow would do, he would make peace with his enemies to make sure that the living survived to fight another day so that is what we have done we have sued for peace with Tommy but we've managed to call up a couple more bannermen so that's not all bad and we're at war with Aegon and Lord Manfred of Blackhaven so I'm tempted I'm just going to march my army down here because then that will hopefully make a little event pop up which means that we will find out that supposedly this Aegon is our brother so would John then take up arms against the Iron Throne in support of Aegon with all these Northmen that we'll have? And hopefully we could get the Vale to join us as well. We could take the Iron Throne, put Aegon on the Iron Throne, our older brother. We get to keep the North. And then we won't have to worry about the pro problems with Tommen at all. So, I'm going to think we're going we're gonna to have a little look. Let's see if we march our army down here, if that'll be the case and that will pop up. If so... It might not be a bad idea and it will further make us safe and we won't be so bothered about bending the knee to our older brother if we find out the truth. Obviously John isn't aware of that yet so we need to find that out. But yeah it's such a shame that unfortunately we have had to sue for peace but I'd rather keep the playthrough going and fight to live, another d uh, live to fight another day as I said. I think we did actually gain another lordship when, when the, one of the lords up north here have lost. So we might have... Let me have a look. I'm pretty sure that we might have another lordship to give away. Let's have a look who we could give it to. Could reward the wildlings a little bit more. Hard hunter. Clam We've already given a clam... Shivers, Redbeard, Forrester, Jane Paul. Um... Asher Forester, we can't give anything to, unfortunately, which is a shame. Right, Hornfoot, what about you? Oh, no, we can't. Uh, unless we can't give anything away at the moment. Right, let's see if we can get this event to fire up, though. Uh, but I don't really want to go for the Iron Frame myself as John, because I just don't think it's something John would do. As he said in the show, I don't want it. As he, that's all he said in the show, I don't want it. But, yeah, I don't think he actually would want the Iron Throne. He's northern through and through. He doesn't want anything to do with southern politics, blah, blah, blah. So, I think if we do get Aegon on, it, on the throne, just so it then leaves us alone. And it takes care of that problem. Oral Blackwolf, that is such a cool name. I wouldn't mind a house Blackwolf. That's, that's pretty sick if we could give him a title. That is an awesome name. It sounds like a bastard Stark branch. That would be an epic, epic family to start up. Right. Come on. Are we going to march down south, please, guys? She needs familiar faces around her. I forgot that our wife, Val, was pregnant. So that's more great news. Oh, the White Walkers have declared second invasion of the North on uh, King Tommen. So we've got that to worry about. But at least now it's not our own people that we've got to worry about. I've left some ships. My lord, your half-sister Lady Iris is responding very well. Okay, that's great to hear. Okay, so the event hasn't popped up, even though we have Howland with us. So I don't know why the uh, R plus L equals J hasn't popped up. Right, let's see if we can. Can we... Uh... No, we can't decide upon civil war. Is that because the uh, White Walkers are invading? Maybe we should go north then and take care of the White Walkers. Carhold army is against us, apparently, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Let's march our men back to Winterfell then, shall we? What other titles do we have? I'm sure we had uh, Lordship of Winterfell. Lordship of Win... Ah, right, okay, no. You have a new heir. Oh, awesome, we've had a son. Well, no, we know. There's only one name for a son of John Stark, and it's got to be Eddard, hasn't it? Eddard Stark. Little Eddard Stark. Fulfilled ambition to have a son. Right, what should we go with for a new ambition? Obtain a great throne, see our house... Uh... Hmm... Have a daughter? Yeah, why not? Have another child. Let's have another child. 
Oh, the sisters are there. Calling their banners up against people. Okay, the, everyone's marching their army north now to end the White Walker invasion. As we should. We should all put aside our petty differences to end this. It doesn't matter who sits on the Iron Throne. It doesn't matter at all. All that matters is ending this White Walker invasion. And it's good news that we've put everything aside to do that. That is exactly what everyone should do. And John knows that as well. So I don't think... I'm staying, going out of character by this, which is a good way. One, it means we can carry on the playthrough because everything was going to cave in on itself. And two, it, like I said, I think it is what John would do. He is more than willing to make peace with his enemies and everything if it means that civilization and life is going to live on. He's seen the threat of the others. He knows what they're all about from his time in the Night's Watch. So he knows that we've got to stop this threat. And if that means we're going to make peace with Tommen, then so be it. Tommen hasn't actually done anything wrong to us, though, really. It was all Joffrey, to be fair, but still, we've still got to get revenge on the phrase and everyone at some point. So, but once this war's out of the way, we'll be okay with that. Hopefully, Tommen won't try and declare war on us again. We can try and get a little bit of power. We just want to be ourselves and left alone in the north. I'm not even sure what Jon Snow would want once that we uh, get this out of the way. It's just all about beating the others that's all his main goal is right we need a new just for we'll go with you because i don't want it to be Val. improve diplomatic relations with who can we improve diplomatic relations with now well there's no point even doing the throne things are that bad no i'm not doing the lannisters what about the veil we're already close with so we don't really need to do the veil dawn's too far to really help us out Let's go with a trident. See if we can get the trident on side. Not the little thing who can be trusted. Oh, okay. I would like you to place chief general. Okay, Tommin. I'll be your chief general. That's a bit... when expecting that. Surely you can't declare war on us after that then. Right, let's march on this army in Carhold. Lord Paran John, I regret to inform you that I have decided to remove you from your... What was the point in... Whatever. Lord Paramount John, in the name of King Tommy, I hereby remove you from your position. Ah, so it was you who did it, was it, Kevin? I see. I see. Very clever. Stressed. Oh, no, we've got the stressed trait. Everything's getting too much to us. Okay, job well done. Though I had thought my courtier Hall to be a more reasonable man, his request to be allowed his duel, disallow, but take no further action. We're not having duels. We've got more important things to sort out at the moment. Stay where you are a moment, because I'm not sure where that bigger army is going. Oh, but we are getting bad, uh, a bad supply line here. Let's, can we not go the other way to car hold? Take out those hundred men of car hold. I'll need to get hold of car hold and give it to Alice Carstark. Lord Harry and the rash is used at the top. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Winter is taking over here. Let's take out that army. See if we can siege this area as well in the Karstark lands. Oh, we've inherited another. She'll revert to me and we will give that... To one of our loyal bannermen. Let's have, well, one of our loyal wildlings probably. Where's that guy? I really want to give him a title just because that name is awesome. Where was he? Where was he? Where was he? Where was he? Black Wolf. What a name. Grand landed title. Lordship of Driftwood Hall. Skagosia near enough wildlings anyway, aren't they? So he should be well at home there. House Black Wolf. <laughs> what an awesome name. I absolutely love that. Wow, we've lost a lot of men. Right, let's go in siege here. Where's Tommin's armies? What are they doing? They're not doing a lot, are they? Need to get all the other armies up north. They're still down here fighting Aegon. I don't really know why the event hasn't fired up. Hang on, we should be here leading armies. Maybe it'll pop up at another time, I don't know. Normally it just top pops up as soon as you get joined with Howland Reed, so I'm not sure why it hasn't popped up. I've definitely got R plus L equals J on, so who knows? Oh yeah, a little bit late saying as it happened last week, but thank you all so much for helping me reach 300 subscribers. Absolutely flying through it. I can't believe how many uh, subs this channel is getting now. We're obviously way past that 
now since then but i've just remembered to say thank you so much to all you guys i've already said thank you to everyone in the discord server don't forget guys as well to join the discord server if uh, you didn't know about it I'm getting a great community going in there now so i'd love to have you all as part of it i don't recognize my friend Aya anymore the things we had in common when we first met becomes we've drifted apart tell me do you think no you are my friend and nothing will ever change iron nothing will change between iron john let's go and get some of these other ones instead actually they'll be easier to Unsieged. Then again, we have a decent supply line in Carhold, so let's let's stay here actually instead, and we'll just we'll just siege that slowly while Tommin does his thing, which is nothing by the looks of it. But never mind. We'll get a few titles off these houses as they fall. Oh, Lady Brenda of last half. Does that mean all the male? Wow, all her brothers have been slain by the White Walkers. Ouch. Okay, the Foresters as well. We've passed down. What happened to... For oh, now we've got a bad supply line here. Let's move on then, shall we? We could take this army on. We've got the same amount, so we could we could take them on. But they are going to move away, which is a shame. Oh, but we would have bumped into the 18,000 the other way. I don't know if we'd take on 18,000 or not. Quite strong. Right, we need a new... Let's get Garrick out there. Quarrying Hard Hunter. I will find... Oh, no. I'll find you someone nice, Carrick Hard Hunter. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. How old are you, my friend? 33. What about this lady? She's a northerner. Uh, Clambreaker. I will find him someone nice. My lord, your courtier lord, Edmund, has left Winterfell without seeking your bishop. We have heard of rumours that he has gone to Lud Lucas Fireprint's court instead from where he is re receiving support for his claim. Oh, well, that's a shame. I wanted him in our court so we could get the Riverlands back for him, but never mind. Right. Oh, no, I just forgot who that bloke was now. that we was. It was an old bloke. Well, weren't it? Old bloke. Old bloke. Where are you? Was it Raymond Clambreaker? I don't know if it was him. I think it was. We'll, we'll, we'll just go with him. Uh, who have we got? Dallas, you know, you can just marry her, that'll do. It's another wildling. Wasn't another old bloke, is there? Sure that it was that one. Yeah, it must have been him. We could try and arrange a betrothal with our son, Eddard, somebody. Somebody with a good title and good claim, so we could maybe get an alliance with somebody. Someone from the Riverlands, maybe? Or Dawn? What about Dawn? It'd be so good to get Dawn on side. They don't have a kid. Oh, he's just died. So Daenerys is... Daenerys is unmarried. Can we arrange a marriage? Do we have anyone we can marry to Daenerys? That would be uh, pretty interesting. But I don't think we do. Pretty sure we don't have... <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. I'm going to say, surely she wouldn't say yes to anyone that we could offer her. Who's the Lord of Storms end in a minute? Okay. Um, Blackwoods, he has a daughter, but she's way too young. We'll leave it for now. We will leave our uh, marriages for now. Right. Let's lift this siege here. Assault. And again, please. Are we gonna have there we go, we've lifted one siege. Let's march on this. Eleven thousand strong armor. We can take care of them easy enough. We're losing a lot of men in the supply line though. That's the only problem. Oh, we can call up some banner. 149. Okay. It's not a great amount, but we can always bring over those reinforcements if need be. The high session declared nothing upon your liege king, Tommin Lines for his supposed sins excommunicated. Wow, Tommin's been excommunicated. Okay. That might be a good thing. Let's move on. Lift the siege here as well. Try and lift some of these sieges. Stay away from that 21,000 strong White Walker army if we can, though. I don't really want to go getting involved with them. That probably won't end well. I wish Tommin had marched his bloody armies north. They're no good down there to us, are they? Let's take out this 11,000 strong White Walker army need to take care of some of their numbers. Oh, that was a very easy victory. Awesome. Easy victory. 
But sieging these things is so difficult because we're just losing men constantly. Uh, let's see if we can go take on this 1,000 man. 1,000 other armour. Ah, they've already just joined with the 18,000. This is so frustrating that no one else is coming north to help out. Half of the north is going to fall at this rate. It's not good at all. Not good. But at least we're fighting to live another day, which is the main thing. Victor, awesome. Lifted the siege there. And once more, attempt assault. Victor, at least we've got a decent supply. We're not losing men at the moment. Let's go and lift this one as well. I'll leave those 149 men there. Yeah, I'll get on you. Get on your little ship and come over to the coast for me. <laughs> be, be quicker that way, won't it, I suppose. It's a shame that we can't call up any more men. Come on, Tommy, hurry up and march your men north. Finish Aegon off and march bloody north. Where the real war is. Okay, we've just inherited another title. We'll give that out to somebody when we get a chance. New title can be a weak claim can be pressed. And I'm not getting anything for Rosalind. Stuff there. Come on. I will create that High Lordship of the North Clans. We can always give that to somebody once we sort out the wars. Right, let's assault this siege. You disband, please, ships. Oh, no, we need to take you back home first. Go land. Go dock on Skagos. Might have to end this episode soon. We're just going to have to keep chugging away at the others for as long as we can. We've just inherited another title as well. Flipping hell, because they're, they're wiping out the mountain clans. Wiping out all the mountain clans. Not good. Not good at all. I don't know who we're going to give these titles. We own that one now. We own that one. I don't know who we're going to give these titles to. Come on, Tommy. Hurry up and get north. This is much more important than Aegon in the south. Could be like this in the books. Daenerys going north to help Jon Snow against the others. And then Aegon's obviously going to have the crown in the south. Instead of that mess with Cersei in the show. Awesome. We're on 100%. Now hurry up and end that war, Tommy. And get your armies north quickly. There we go. So he's ended that war. Hopefully now he will come north. Okay. Harry and Karstark has been imprisoned. That's interesting. So what's going to happen with Carhold now? Who who now owns Carhold? Can I revoke? Yes, I can. Oh, only the High Lordship of Carhold, though. I'll do it anyway. We'll take that away from him. Why we've got chance, at least then we get it. Right. Um, let's march around to that 9,000. Let's chase them down and finish them off. Right. Disband unit. Awesome. We've managed to take the High Lordship of Carhold. Can I take some more off you? I can give them to your sister then, which would be great. Minus 50. Mm. We'll leave that for now. I can always do it after. We'll probably gain them anyway. We've got the High Lordship, so. No, I'll keep this to myself for now. There are more important things than these petty little things going on. Right, let's lift this siege. Assault. And again. I don't know what that other army of uh, others is doing. They're just sort of like aimlessly marching left to right to up to down. West to east and north to south. Oh, now we're at war with Lee Tarf and Bar 8. Oh, for God's sake, get your men north, Tommy. Just standing here doing nothing. Fight that army of White Walkers. My goodness. Can we get those men to swing round? It's only 150 men, but every little helps, don't it? Every little helps. We will be able to take on 12,000. 12,000 men is a lot. We have got an advantage, so I think we will be able to. Yes, we've took them on. Perfect. Now let's lift that siege. They just keep coming with more and more men, though. Every battle they win, they obviously just get more men. 6,000 men. 
We're going to have to end this here. We're going to end this episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really hope you've enjoyed this, even though it hasn't probably gone the way we wanted. We didn't really want to... Um, obviously make white peace with Tommin, but it's what we've had to do to carry on the playthrough. But we can still be king in the north at some point once we get our chance to do so, but we've had to make peace. Thank you once again for obviously telling me that detail, or else the playthrough would have been over. Don't forget to like this video, please, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you enjoyed, obviously, I'd really appreciate it, and it'll help the channel continue growing at the rate that it has been, which is absolutely amazing. And hopefully I'll see you all very soon for my next video.